QNT has given us a bit of a short term bounce after bouncing on our key area of support that lies between the $69.1 and the $65.7. And at the time of this recording, we are holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart, which is acting as a resistance. And on today's video, I will be discussing the key areas of resistances that you need to break above and also the key areas of supports that you need to continue holding above for us to continue expecting higher prices. So make sure that you stick around till the end of the video. And starting the video by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening from the lows that we made on the 6th of September. You can see that we started a very nice bounce to the upside, managing to break above key areas of resistances in a move that gave us a high above the $81, in a move that I have been terming as an impulsive additive count one to the upside. And after we picked in that additive count one, I was expecting a bit of a short term pullback in an additive count two, whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave down there to the high of this additive count one giving me a minimum pullback target area into the golden pocket between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 and that is between the $68.5 and the $65.5 which is an area that we have almost fully maximized in this pullback over here and you can see that we have started to see a reaction of this area in what could be the start of an impulsive additive count 3 to the upside and if that is the case, then I will be watching to see QNT give us a break above our key areas of resistances above the $78. And the moment that plays out and maybe we get a successful retest, then I will be watching for a break above the significant highs that we made in this additive count one above the $81. And the moment that plays out, then we can easily see an aggressive bounce to the upside in an additive count three in the next coming hours or maybe days. We also need to have in mind that we can also get a sudden pullback. And if that plays out, then I need to see QNT continue holding within this target area over here that lies between the $69.1 and the $65.7. And as long as we are holding within this area, then I'm still expecting another bounce to the upside in a wave three. But if by any chance we break to the lower side of this target area, then that will be increasing the chances of QNT giving us a total breakdown move, giving us a reset of the lows that we made down here below the $50, the $56 in the next coming hours or maybe days. And maybe from that point, we can start to evaluate a more bullish or maybe a more bearish scenario for the next coming days. So that is all I'm expecting to play out here on the QNT chart for the next coming hours. And let's be patient and see how that plays out. And I will be keeping you up to date. 